Welcome to Chapter 6 of the Quick Train Modeler Getting Started tutorial series. In this module, you will learn how to create markers, range rings, and bookmarks. You'll also learn how these tools fit into the general umbrella of annotation. We'll be using the Iowa Rural LiDAR data again in this video, so feel free to visit appliedimagery.com download and download the zip file containing the Iowa Rural LiDAR data and imagery zip file. Let's start by loading the Iowa DSM into the scene, just like we did in Chapter 5. As we learn in Chapter 2, we can use the Open Model button, then navigate to the Iowa Rural LiDAR Data folder and to the Iowa Rural Surface Model subfolder. Choose the DSM or Digital Surface Model and click Open. Let's also overlay an image on top of the DSM. We'll use a different method to overlay the four-bane mosaic this time. Just as a review of terminology, textures is the quick train modeler term for the file-based overlaid 2D imagery. So we'll click on the Import Textures button, navigate to the four-band imagery folder, and choose the four-band mosaic. Remember that we have learned two ways to overlay imagery. First, from the Find Imagery interface like we showed in Chapter 5, loading imagery from the Find interface is great when you don't know exactly where your imagery is stored. Second, from the Import Texture button. This method is used when your data is well organized and you know exactly where your imagery files are. Let's start with marker placement. There are several easy ways to place markers in the scene. The first is with the marker button. Click the marker button, a crosshair will appear. Left click and drag the marker where you want it in the scene and let go. The second way is the shortcut of holding down M. Hold down M on the keyboard and left click, left click, left click to place markers in the scene. The third way is to click the go button, input a coordinate, and click Create Marker. If you are working with point clouds, there is another useful way to place markers. If you have a specific point in mind, in this case the points that represent the top of a silo, you can hold down the Shift button and a red starburst will appear. Left click, choose Create Marker, and click the Do It button. The marker will now be snapped to an individual point on the point cloud, in this case on top of the silo. Once markers are placed in the scene, there are a few ways to edit them, primarily moving them to a new location, changing their appearance, and renaming them. To move a marker, hold down the K button on the keyboard, grab the marker by the pin point, not the pin head, and drag to a new location. To change the appearance of markers, right click on the marker button. There are many options to choose from, but two of the most useful are the coordinate display, click apply after each change, and the billboard style display, click apply, and billboard presents a white background and back of black text. Lastly, to rename markers, right click in the layer tree and choose rename. Type in a name and click the OK button. Range rings are a useful way to show distances from a center point. To place range rings, move your cursor to a specific location, in this case, barn 1. Hold down R on the keyboard and left click. The range rings dialog will appear. Input your spacing and click go. The last annotation tool for this video is bookmarks. Bookmarks allow users to return to the same view repeatedly. They also are the foundation of movie creation and can be saved in a workspace and shared with others. While there is a button bar button available for bookmarks, the easiest way to create a bookmark is to type Q on the keyboard. Simply get to a perspective that you'd like to return to later. Type Q on the keyboard and the bookmark will appear in the layer tree. 
To return to the bookmark, simply left click on it in the layer tree and that perspective will be restored. That concludes Chapter 6 of the Quick Train Modeler Getting Started series. At this point, you should be comfortable with creating and editing markers, range rings, and bookmarks. Our next chapter will cover basic editing tasks. Please review the rest of the series on our website and contact us if you need any help. We'd love to hear from you.